Now watch me whip, whip, watch me. You will not be watching me whip nor Nene. Yeah, no, Nene. Nene. Yeah, you keep on Nene in. <laughs> We are here at Underground, and it's actually really crazy to be here. Cause first of all, it's the best spot in Orlando. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. It's According the best to spot Orlando. And uh, last time I was here, it was completely submerged underwater. Yeah, you can see in. the lines right here where the actual water level went up. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. When I heard that it was underwater, I thought I was like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to fly it again. But yeah. I need to get a good flight video from here, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's an hour it's not so pretty outside. Not so pretty outside. Maybe that'll help the light to dark transitions. <laughs> you know, here's the trick challenge of the day, Bardwell. All right, here's yep. the trick challenge. It's my favorite trick to do when I come here. It's challenging, and sometimes I get it. Sometimes I'm on, on point, sometimes I'm not. Yeah. But you basically come down this line here. At the very end, you'll see two palm trees right up against a wall. Yeah, those two palm trees right, right there. So you're gonna, at the very end of that, right as you go through this line, you're going to yeah. power loop up between the two palm trees, okay. pitch backwards, and yep. come down into the triangle hole that's behind it. So it's tricky because you're right up against glass as you're coming back. Where's the triangle? Let me see the triangle. Between the two palm trees. Oh, this little triangle pitch back here. And come down into this triangle here. That seems pretty doable. Yeah. yeah. That seems pretty doable. So it's Where's a lot the of glass? Fun. The glass is right against this wall here. Oh, that's doable. So you're coming right up against the glass. Oh yeah. First time. No yeah. problem. First try. That is a big slab. Yeah. Don't go down there. Ah, it's the wind. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh. You know, we just had all oh, sand in my eyes. Gosh. So much dirt and getting kicked up. It's, it's windy. It's Too pretty windy. windy. Like, at what point are you just like, this is not really doable? This is not flyable for me. No. Interesting. Ooh, that does not. Oh, hello. That does not give you a lot of time. Those trees are in the way. Yeah, everything's everything's in the way. That's <laughs> tough. It's tough. That does not give you a lot of time to react. Oh, I see. You can drop down in there too. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm not sure which is worse, Spanish moss or palm trees. Okay, okay, this is this is semi flyable. What the wind? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm for doing me right. it was just hard to be like ultra precise, but I just need to adapt to the wind better. So for me down here, it looks easy, but what when you actually try to hit the going up, the palm trees are in the way, so you got to kind of pitch back and bail out sooner than you might like. And then there's a freaking window in a building coming. So you don't normally, if I was going to do this like first try, I would pop up super high and get a feel for it, look down and dive in and give myself more time to react. But this forces you to just the whole way through with very little time to react. And uh, yeah, harder than I thought it was going to be. I got this app, okay. Weather, Weather Underground. You can set up activities that you like to perform and the conditions. So I have created one called Ripping Balls. <laughs> Next best Ripping Balls time is Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, not now. Look at, look at this jet, look at. Is, if my hair is moving, guys, my hair is pretty firm. My hair does not usually move in wind. 
It, I think it's moving. It's not going to get better either. It's not going to get better? What does rear ripping balls say? Today, okay. wind speed is 23, 22, 22, 20, 20, 19. I guess it gets a tiny bit better. I mean, I'm definitely going to get some packs up, but... i got to go change my props. For me, it's like a lot of my flying style, you know, go whoosh, and just hang. Well, wait, show us again. And then I'm just zero throttle, and then you go... Yeah. Oh, yeah, all yeah. the questions. No, I got that. Yeah. Hey everybody, this right here, this does not make you fly better. I'm not sure if this is going to be the kind of thing that we're all going to laugh about later or if he's secretly going to want to murder me. This is just for show. It doesn't make you fly. Why would you need more downforce? Tell me down in the comments, should I? Should I? Or is it, would that be like super rude and disrespectful? He's probably got more, right? I need like a two-faced coin from Batman, you know? Should I do it or should I not do it? Especially in, it's so windy right now. It's so windy. This is gonna make you fly worse. I'm really doing him a favor. I should do it. Okay. Let's see if he even notices. Let's see if he even notices. If he's gonna be like, where'd my wing go? <laughs> it's, it's for science. It's like an A-B test. It's a blind test. I'll be like, hey, Bobby, I'll plug you in. You ready to go? It's because of your what's in my backpack video that I carry all this with me, by the way. Yeah. Like here, this one's not as flat as That's I was hoping, gonna, but... The M3's not going to hold that, though. I've used it before for your exact application. Yeah, I appreciate it. I already got it going, though. Okay. It's all good. You going up, Bubby? In a second. Let me plug you in, man. O-rings. I don't have... No, no, I don't have my stuff ready. I didn't, I didn't change my prop. Oh, you got to change it? I'll get it for you. Do it for me, really? Yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> Give me a set. What do you fly? <laughs> we were just talking about your unique style and whether it would be prepared for wind. Oh, I see. We're good. Bubby's mic, again. Bubby's mic. And I gotta blast the pack on the charger too real quick. 15 amps. Wait, these are drip motors. Why do you have drip motors on your quad? I don't got my own motor yet. Oh, gonna go that 1300 KV? 15, I, 1500 KV 8S? I might, I might. Here, you in or out? Uh, in. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm honestly very curious how, like, how my quad's gonna handle the wind. Cause my quad's 860 grams, my friend. Give or take, 860, give or take. Like obviously your setup's not the same in every, like, I you mean, know, yeah, your battery take, weight yeah. changes. You might have some 3D printed accessories added or removed, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, my spoiler's gone. <gasps> I broke the spoiler. How did that happen? I don't know. That's the first time I've ever broken a spoiler. Oh, you can still fly without it. I can still it. fly without it. You're gonna be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. On a windy day like this, that spoiler is just gonna but the spoiler drag you like, around. The spoiler is what gives me my It's okay, my Dumbo, just fly without your feather, it's all that right. That is not true. You can do it, but. You can fly without you your feather. You can do it, Bubby. You think so? I think all you right, can. I'm gonna try it then. I'm gonna try it. Man, that spoiler, what, did you printed it like 100% infill? Uh, yeah, whatever Julian prints them, so. I mean, that's thick. Yeah. I'm surprised it came off. Me too. I saw us and freaked out. <laughs> saw us and freaked out. Yeah, I didn't want to hit Story us. Story of my life. Oh, so windy. You guys, <laughs> like, I, I wish we could convey a wind, like, like here, let's take, let's take 35, off. it's 35 miles an hour. Ooh, it's standing in my eyes now too. Oh, I don't, oh my gosh. Nope, didn't make it. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I put on sunglasses because there keeps getting s sand blasted in my eyes. How did it get in my eyes again? I have glasses on. Oh my gosh, my mouth's got sand blasted. It's not good. Here we go. How do you feel? Do you feel confident? Uh, in what? I mean, do you feel like your missing spoiler is like holding you back? Um, it's very windy. It is windy. I mean, that's not helping. 
I think that your innate talent. Ah. I think your innate talent, you know, overshadows your your gear. I mean, I mean, I feel like I'm stuck in a tree, so. The wind, dude, I saw, dude, that knife edge is huge. I should be hitting that like that. But as I go in, the wind is just like, phew, phew. Ah, oh, I guess get the drone saver. Have you used this before? Cozy, Cozy at me, that's right. He uh, rebrands them as, you know, drone saver. Good for him. The drone saver, oh my gosh. Dronesaver.com. Cozy FPV. That did not go as planned. See, this is why I wish I had the spoiler, because usually I could grab the spoiler with this thing. Aren't you glad you didn't have the spoiler? Mm, I wish I had it because I could I could have grabbed it with this thing. Oh. Sunglasses off. Oh my gosh. Trip over drone saver. Goggles on. Keep shredding. Oh, that was so close to that wall. That was such a great wall ride. Oh yeah. That was sick. Oh, let's see. There's no wind right now, so. So there's this, so this tree they were talking about right next to the wall, uh, to a power loop. So I got the power loop, but I want to see if I can trip up in this. It'd be pretty sweet if I could. I'd be very happy. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Wind's back. Okay. There we go. Eject. There we go, oh, trees. Oh, oh, there we go. I think the spoiler would have helped you get out of that crash? Heck yeah! Because it would have lifted me off the ground to turtle mode. It does like help with things like this where uh, it's stuck in a tree and I don't necessarily want to grab my arm because it can pull off an electronics. It happened to me before. I've used a drone saver um, and it's ripped off an ESC. It, it does help with stuff like grabbing it, like so I can pick it up with a hook easily. And turtle moding as well, like when I'm upside down, it lifts the battery up off of the ground. So it makes turtle mode easier because the props aren't getting caught up in all the, the groundness. You're not so. flying behind yourself, are you? Sorry, I'm gonna go it's get impossible. the uh, quad. <laughs> it's not possible. Something, this is like power loop gaps. I actually did a tutorial video early on Rotorite. Uh, go check it out if you wanna learn the power loop gap thingies. That's exactly what this is. It's basically a power loop gap because you gotta aim for the box, which the imaginary box is palm tree and the top of the ledge. Ah. Oh, that's good. Oh, right, now it's raining too. Is it raining too? A little bit. Uh, oh, and we're under the canopy too. That's nice. And it's raining, you feel it? Mm -hmm. mm. The wind is just pushing it right on us. This is the best. This is a great day to fly, guys. Sean, are you up on one? Yeah, he's on one. I'm also on one. No, I'm on three, never mind. Never mind, I'm on three. We're good. Nope. <laughs> right in the dirt, we're not supposed to crash in. <laughs> so if I go down here, can I power loop this whole area? Yeah, you totally can, can't you? I can go here. It needs to go further. What's that? You can power loop from the big tree gap right towards the building. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should power loop away from the building. It's cooler if you go towards the building, though. Right towards the building. That's it. <laughs> I'm in the sand. See, if I'd had that 8S quad, I would have made him pull out. You want to fly the 8S quad? <laughs> no. Taking the spoiler off this one and then putting it on my, my freestyle drone. Don't tell Parkville I'm putting this on my quad. Where is Joshua? He is walking back to it. Yes, yes. Man, it's like I can feel little sprinklets of rain on me every now and then. Oh shit! 
I was on top of the roof and didn't know it. <laughs> Zero damage. All good. Nope. Yeah, that's how windy it is today. Kids. All over my garden. Still underpowered and I don't know why. Oh! Hello! Hello! Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello! Yeah, you nailed me. Got it two times. Once not so clean, second time clean. I call that good. 